of this blue star warrior one here all the glory goes to the lord jesus christ our savior today i feel led to read isaiah chapter 64 isaiah chapter 64 from the king james version of the holy bible let's begin oh that thou wouldest read the heavens that thou wouldest come down that the mountains might flow down at thy presence as when the melting fire burneth the fire causing the waters to boil to make thy name known to thy adversaries that the nations may tremble at thy presence when thou didst tremble terrible things which we looked not for thou camest down the mountains flowed down at thy presence for since the beginning of the world men have not heard nor perceived by the ear neither hath the eye seen, O God. Besides thee, what he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him, thou meetest him that rejoiceth, and worketh righteousness, those that remember thee in thy ways. Behold, thou art wrought, for we have sinned in those in, in continuance and we shall be saved but we are all as unclean thing and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags and we all do fade as a leaf and our inquiries like the wind have taken us away and there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee, for thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us because of our inquiries. But now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. Be not wroth very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity for ever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. Thy holy cities are a wilderness. Zion is a wilderness. Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and beautiful house, where our fathers praise thee, is burned up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Wilt thou refrain thyself for these things, O Lord? Wilt thou hold thy peace, and afflict us very sore? And Lord Jesus Christ, holy name, amen, amen. God, please bless your holy word. Please bless your holy word. God, please be with all my subscribers, my viewers, and their, and their loved ones and family members. Please fill them all with the Holy Spirit. Wash them all in Lord Jesus Christ's blood. Please bless them with the heart healing and deliverance they need. Please bless them with good food and water, and wash their food and water in Lord Jesus Christ's precious blood. Please bless them with a good home, and wash their home in Lord Jesus Christ's precious blood. Please wash their internet connections and devices in Lord Jesus Christ's precious blood. Please bless them with good finances and watch their finances in Lord Jesus Christ's precious blood. Please bless them with good health. Please do all these things and please do the same for my parents as well. As long as they have not taken the mark and if it is in your will, God, and Lord Jesus Christ's holy name, amen, amen. Peace be with you.